Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're here with the HTC One M8, and uh, we're going through a lot of different guides here on the phone as we uh, get through things. This is the now the uh, Blink feed I want to show you. We just did um, our full uh, Sense walkthrough, Sense Six walkthrough, and um, Blink feed is is uh, something that's been around since I think Sense Five, and it's kind of evolved. It's actually really cool, and what's really cool about it is it's not in your face in the sense that, you know, if you no pun intended, or if you don't like it, you can get rid of it. And I know HTC probably doesn't want me to show this, uh, but I'll show it to you quickly. Um, here just in case but I think you should give it a shot because it is cool if you're looking to remove it the there's two methods the easiest method is to long press you can either do it through add apps and widgets or manage home screen pages I would choose manage home screen pages and scroll over to the um, page and then uh, basically uh, hit remove the good news is anything that you've set on the page um, uh, whatever whatever news sources that you had will be kept. So if we go ahead and hit the home key, it's gone. Uh, right now I have only three Android home screens and there's no blink feed. So I go ahead and long press, manage home screen pages, and then I've got the plus key for turn on blink feed. I turn it on, it's going to be exactly how I had it with the exact same sources. I can also set it as my home by tapping that and the little home icons there. So whenever I hit the home button, it will always go to blink feed. But instead, I'm going to leave it here at this page and we're good to go. So now blink feed. So this is pretty much it. And um, right now it's showing highlights, which is showing all my sources that I've selected. And um, what you want to do is um, What you want to do is go in here and you can see uh, the different sources that you have, categories, and some recent things that you looked at. So if you want to look at, you know, f when you're looking at the news, you want to fine-tune certain things. Of course, we got Talk Android, and I've got some social networks. But right now, the, the power of it all is in this three-dot menu here, um, where you can add content, remove content, and have some settings now. And then you can also add services and apps. As far as services and apps goes, uh, you've got all your social stuff, and kid mode is uh, something we'll get into in another video, uh, but there's a kids mode um, as part of this phone, and of course you can see drawings from your kids on that, it will show right in your blink feed, which is cool. You can add Sense TV or Twitter, Zoe, um, Facebook, right now I don't uh, have the option, I don't even have the app on the device, but if you tap on it, you'll, you know, you'll be asked to put in Facebook. And there's also restaurant recommendations, something they mentioned at the big announcement that BlinkFeed is now working with third-party apps. They've released an SDK. So this works for Foursquare, so you can get restaurant recommendations from Foursquare. So uh, it'll ask you for your login, uh, so I'll go ahead and check it. So it's going to ask me uh, for all that good stuff. I'm not going to bother with it right now, but that just shows you what you can do there. we will go back here into the menu, um, and let's say you want to um, add content. You go in here and uh, you can search for content as well, but you're not going to be able to search for sites that aren't included in here. So, for example, CNN is there. I'd already searched for it a little while ago, so as I call it up, it comes right up. Um, I can do ESPN, I believe. And uh, there's ESPN. It comes right up. Um, go back. So this is the news sources right here. Um, and you can go into any of these categories and select stuff. So uh, let's go to technology to show you how to add Talk Android. If you go to technology and science, you'll see the main featured here uh, at the top. And then you'll see all these other sites. Of course, a lot of the Android sites, all great sites, by the way. Uh, but if you keep scrolling down to the letter T, you'll see Talk Android. And you can see I already have that checked. So I can check anything, anything I want here. Different ones, phone dog, PC mag, whatever, um, and check these off, and it will instantly go right into my uh, Blink feed. So there's a variety of categories here: um, music, sports, and all this good stuff, and games, business, and what have you. So you add what you want. When you add a stuff from a category, the category to or they call it well topics will show up here. So you can also tap on here. So I have Bloomberg and Financial Times included from business. That's all I have checked. So I can actually select Bloomberg, and now all I'm going to get is Bloomberg. 
for whatever reason, you can't seem to be able to select just business for whatever reason. So you can just select one or the other or whatever from the amount of list of items. And there's Financial Times. And then Technology and Science works the same way. Whatever I have checked, um, I can go and do them. And you can see the recent change as well. Whoops. Um, so, you know, if you constantly check a certain site, you can do that. So this is a great way for fine-tuning your news if you want to look at something in particular. Um, now, if you want to remove content, pretty easy. You just go into Remove here, and um, you basically go to your business section and, and then uncheck or check the items you want to remove and remove them. Uh, you can also do that with the stuff that you've set up for apps and social networks like Google Plus or whatever. You can go on, uncheck them and remove them. Now, here's the thing that a lot of people ask. How do I add something that's not part of all these different things? Um, you know, add content. There's a lot of stuff here, but there might be a site that you want uh, to add to this. Now it can be done, although it is very um, doesn't work all that well on a lot of sites it won't work. You have to get to the RSS feed, but the interesting thing is, and I am not a developer or a programmer or a website designer or anything, but the RSS feed has to be set up a certain way for it to be recognized by the phone. Uh, so let's go over to Chrome. And what we're going to do is actually I'm going to go to my local news station here, uh, WNYT. And if I go to the page here all the way to the right, you see the RSS icon. You'll find that in a lot of pages. Now, some websites don't even have it. Um, what I would do is then search in Google for the website that you're looking for and just like whatever it is, uh, RSS, and then the letters RSS right after. And then hopefully you'll get a link to it. Now, if all goes right, when you tap on the RSS, you're going to get an option. In this particular site, it works. You're going to get a choice, Blink Feed, RSS, or Chrome. If it's not set up right, it's just going to open up a, a page showing the news stories, and you won't be able to add it. So what you want to do is say Blink Feed RSS, and right now I'm just going to say just once. So now it's actually going to open all the stories. You're actually going to see the stories here. Now it's not it hasn't been added yet. All I have to do is hit plus here and there it is and you can actually change the title and then I hit subscribe and it will now be added. So when I go over here, it's now under custom topics and then I can actually tap it here and go through all the stories. So that's how you you're going to add anything that is not in the normal uh blink feed. Now, the other thing uh, that you can do, and um, I want to do this with uh, in adding content as well, uh, if you are going and search for something and you find, say, CNN, you can hit the plus button here and go ahead and subscribe to it as well. Now, there's another thing I want to show you, and that is, under here, go to settings, you can... Um, you can set up off news reading as well and you can set up text article full article so you can go ahead and set that up and then the other thing is to choose the highlights topics maybe you don't want everything included in that main highlights and you want some things uh, that you'll just you know when you want to get it you'll get it so maybe I only want uh, Bloomberg uh, and Gadget, Talk Android, TechCrunch and Twitter or maybe I don't want Twitter involved, and that's because it's too busy in Google+, Plus. too busy. I can uncheck these things here and then hit Done. So basically I can say no Twitter unless I ask for it, no calendar appointments, uh, no Zoe, and no TV. Hit Done, and it will no longer be in here. When you go to the, um, when you scroll over here to the hamburger menu, you hit Highlights, and now it's going to update it, and Twitter and Google+, Plus and those other things aren't going to show up. Of course, I can always go to them by just tapping on them right here. And, of course, I can also tap on these things to simplify things to make this so it's not as long as well. So that's Blink Feed for you. It's pretty cool. Um, and, you know, it's really great for the casual user that doesn't, that, you know, maybe you already don't have a whole RSS uh, setup, feed setup, or another app like Flipboard. And you can just, you know, 
get your phone and you go, hey, what's this? All right, let me see. Let me set up some news stories. And then you kind of follow some stuff, and it's pretty cool. Um, this is actually going to come to other Android phones uh, in the next several months, which will be pretty cool. So if you do like the option and for whatever reason you don't want a HTC phone anymore, you still could utilize Blink Feed. And for those of you um, that, you know, for whatever reason just never bought an HTC phone and want to try Blink Feed, you'll be able to do that. But for now, um, it's only available on the HTC phones, and this is the Sense 6 version, as I said. It's, a, it's not, you know, it it's pretty much works the same way as Sense 5.5, but one of the things when you scroll, it's a lot more smoother, um, whereas before it would scroll to each kind of page, in a way, um, and now it's a lot smoother. Sometimes the pictures load a little slow, even when you're on Wi-Fi. But overall, it's a pretty good experience, and it works good, and it's a quick way of looking at stuff. And the good news is, if you don't like it, uh, you can remove it. And also, just tap on it and swipe down to update at any time, and it will update the current stories. It just updated, so there's nothing new there. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Um, so it really works. Um, it works very well. And also, when you scroll down to the bottom, you saw what I just did there. I hit the home button, and it goes right back up. Of course, hit the home button again. It's going to go to my main home screen. So that is Blink Feed on Sense Six, and I hope this helps you uh, use it to uh, the most that you can. So thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.